by Q, aircraft produces by Q engine, to also support us. We know we have a lot to do internally, and as the day goes by, I will also tell you the efforts we are making to also give you comfort, give you an order of your you know, contemporary uh, aircraft producers, the comfort to lease aircrafts to us. That's exactly what we, we, we want in Nigeria. We want you to have the confidence in our businessmen, the confidence in our institutions, the confidence in the country for you to come and do business and for us to have access to your aircraft in very, very good condition so that the airline industry in Nigeria, the aviation industry can, can grow. <clears throat> Once we have all of these conditions in place, you will not regret having to do business with us in Nigeria. As to the economic situation uh, that you mentioned earlier, this government has taken so uh, many measures to ensure that we, we improve our liquidity. The problem has been the problem of liquidity. Access to foreign currency, foreign exchange to meet our international obligations. And you know, 99% of the aviation industry is foreign exchange, foreign currency. It's not Naira. It's only perhaps uh, the local um, salaries we keep, that's in Naira. But every other thing is uh, for an exchange. But what are we doing? This government has taken steps to remove all of those impediments that have been taken away of foreign currency. Subsidies, for instance, and the number of issues government have decided to remove all of that in order to grow our um, liquidity. And I can, I'll be happy, I'm happy to report to you that just last month, the government has been able to offset all of those trapped funds to airlines. The funds that were trapped, the central bank has discharged all its obligations to all international airlines as a last month because our liquidity is improving. So it's going to get better, I know your fears, but there are brighter days ahead, and there's every reason for you to have confidence to come and do business with us in Nigeria. Those are my preliminary remarks. I'll make more as time goes on, especially the specific efforts we are making with the Aviation Working Group in order to comply with the Cape Town Convention so that we can give comfort to creditors who give us aircraft on dry leases to be sure that their assets are safe within Nigeria. That is the major thing I'm concentrating on. I'll tell you more what we are doing later today. But these are my preliminary remarks, and I just want to say thank you for the warm welcome, and I'm sure my delegation here will all appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much.